Good evening, uh, brothers and sisters. Rao, welcome to today's to uh, broadcast. The first day of this month, uh, prayer and fasting. God will richly bless us all in Jesus' name. For those of this fasting, may God continue to strengthen you, strengthen each and every one of us in the might of Jesus. For those that couldn't fast, God will also, also bless you and give you the ability to make room for the spiritual life in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us sing some praises to praise our God. Let us sing some, uh, some sorry, hymn number 59, Blessed Assurance, Jesus is mine. Hallelujah. One to go. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a fortress of glory divine. Hail salvation, fortress of God. One of his spirit washing his blood. This is my story. This is my song. <coughs> Praise my Savior. This is my story. This is my song, praise my Savior all that day long. Perfect submission, perfect delight, this vision of rapture, boost on my side. Angel descending, bring from above, echoes of mercy, with paths of love. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior. All the day long, this is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission, all it arrests. I am my Savior, I'm happy and blessed. Watching and waiting, looking above. With his goodness, lost in his love. This is my story. This is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. Hallelujah. Let us also sing 1151. Amazing grace. How great. Sorry, how sweet thy sound. Amazing grace. 1151. One to go. Amen. Sing grace. How sweet thy sound. Now rest. Like me, I once was lost, but now I'm found. But now I see His grace 
that taught my heart to fear and grace my fears relieve. How precious did the grace appear near our first relief. My sins are gone. I've been set free, my God, my Savior, as well as on me. And like a flood, His mercy rains, unending love, amazing grace. The Lord has promised good to me. Is what my hope secures. He will be my shield and portion be as long as life endures. My chains are gone, have been set free. My God, my Savior. A ransom me, and like a flood, his mercy rains on ending love, amazing grace. My, my chains are gone, I've been set free, my God, my Savior. I ransom me, and like a flood, his mercy's rest, unending love, amazing grace. The shall soon dissolve like stone, the sun for the earth to shine. But God, who called me here, we be forever mine. My chains are gone, I've been set free. My God, my Savior, harass on me. And like a flood, his mercy rains on ending love, amazing grace. Hallelujah. Jesus, we bless you. Father, we worship you, Lord. We give you thanks. We give you our gracious. We thank you for everything, Lord. We bless your holy Lord for this hour. We just thank you, Father, because you have been the God that has been sustaining us. You have been the God that has been giving us strength to do whatever you have asked us to do. Father, we bless you, Lord. We worship you, Father. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you because you are a wonderful God. We thank you, Jesus, for your grace upon each and everyone that are under the sound of my voice right now, wherever they may be listening from, through the radio, through the Zoom, through the Facebook, through the through the YouTube, Father Jesus, I bless your name today, Lord. We just worship you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. O many present, how many potent God, the reason for this fasting, O Lord, Father, let it be met, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it be fulfilled in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord God, Holy Spirit, meet us, O Lord, at the point of our need in the mighty name of Jesus. And I ban every forces of darkness right now. Any power from the pit of hell, O Lord, that want to wage war against us, I take authority over them and I command those power to be arrested and be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Anyone that have laid ambush against us, O Lord, those powers that are the enemy are also using to suppress this prayer, the, any prayer that each and every one of us want to pray today, O Lord. Father, I take authority over it now and I command our power to bow right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever arrow the enemy want to send to any family that are connected to this prayer, oh Lord, Father, let that power be destroyed right now in the name of Jesus. And I return that arrow back to the sender in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, take us to control every territorial spirit 
we take authority over it and we bind it today in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I sprinkle your blood, oh Lord, Father, around each and every one of us, around every of our gadgets right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, up to 20,000 or 30,000 kilometers. Father, I sprinkle your blood around it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever attack, oh Lord, Father, Lord Jesus, we do something right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We bless your holy Father. We worship you, Lord. We just thank you because you have been the God that has been sustaining us all through. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen, amen, amen in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We are going to the book of Genesis chapter, Genesis chapter 27, and we are going to read from verse 1 to 29. The topic is destroying the spirits of household wickedness in your life. The topic is destroying the spirit of household wickedness in your life or in your family. God bless us in Jesus' name. Reverend, can you read for us, please? Genesis 27, verse 1 to 29. Yes. Hallelujah. Now it came to pass. Yes. When Isaac was old and his eyes were so dim, yes, that he could not see, yes, that he called his son, his old son, and said to him, My son. After he answered him, Here I am. Then he said, Behold, now I am old. Yes. I don't know, know the day of my death. Hallelujah. Now, therefore, please take your wet, wet people, yes. your quiver, and your palm, Amen. and go out to the fields and the herd camp for me. Yes. And they make me savory food, yes. such as I love. Yes. And they bring it to me Hallelujah. that I may eat, Amen. that my soul may bless you Thank before you, Jesus. I die. Amen. That's fine. Now Rebecca was a listening when Isaac spoke to his son, yes. his son. And his son went to the field yes. to head again and to bring it. Amen. So Rebecca spoke to Jacob, his son, saying, He did. I heard your father yes. speak to his son, your, your, son, your brother. Saying, bring me game and make several food for me, yes. that I may eat it and bless you in the presence of the Lord before my death. Yes. Now, therefore, my son, obey my voice according to what I command you. Amen. Go now to the floor and bring me from the two choice kids of God, yes. and I will make savory food for them, for your father, yes. such as he loves. Amen. Then you shall take it to your father, yes. that he may eat it, and that he may bless you yes. before his death. Yes. And Jacob said to Rebekah, his mother, look, and so my brother, is a hairy man, yes. and I am a smooth-skinned man. Yes. Perhaps my father will feed me, and I shall seem to be a deceiver yes. to him. And I shall bring a curse on myself, yes. and a not a blessing. Yes. But his mother said to him, let your curse be on me, yes. my son. Only obey my voice, Hallelujah. and go get them for me. Amen. And he went and got them and they brought them to his mother. Yes. And his mother made several food such as his father loved. Yes. Then Rebecca took the choice clothes of her elder son, Esau, which were with her in the house. Yes. And they put them on Jacob here the youngest son. Yes. And she put the skin of the kids of God yes. on his hands. Yes. 
and on in the smooth part of his neck. Yes. Then she gave the several foods and the bread which she had prepared Amen. into the hand of her son Jacob. Amen. So when he went to his father and he said, yeah. My father, and he said, Here I am, who are you, my son? Hmm. Jacob said to his father, I am his son, yeah. your firstborn. Hmm. I have done so just as you told me. Hmm. Please arise, sit and eat in my den, mm -hmm. that your soul may bless me. Yes. But Isaac said to his son, how is it that you have found it so quickly, yes. my son? Yes. And he said, because the Lord your God brought it to me. Mm. The Isaac said to Jacob, please come near mm. that I may feel you, my son, whether you are really my son or so, mm. or not. Mm. So Jacob went near to Isaac, his father, and he felt him and said, the voice is Jacob's voice, yes. but the hands are his own hands. Mm. And he did not recognize him yeah. because his hand were held, yes. like his brother is so hands. So he blessed him. Then he said, Are you really my son? Mm. He said, I am. He said, Bring it now to me, and I will eat of my son's den, so that my soul. May bless you. Yes. So he brought it in me to him, and he ate, and he brought him wine, and he drank. Mm. Then his father Isaac said to him, "Come near now and kiss me, my son." Mm -hmm. And he came near and kissed him, mm. and he smelled the smell of his clothes, mm. clothing, and they blessed him, and they say, mm. "Surely." The smell of my son is like the smell of a fig, which the Lord has blessed. Yes. Therefore, my God, may God give you of the down of heaven, Amen. of the fatness of the earth, mm. and the plenty of grain and wine. Mm. Let people serve you mm. and nations bow down to you. Mm. Be master over your brethren, mm. and then let your mother's son bow down to you. Mm. Curse be everyone who cares you, mm. and bless be those who bless you. Mm. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the reading. And uh, that is the book of Genesis chapter 27 from verse 1 to 29. We are going to take it gradually, and God will lead us all through in Jesus' name. We saw what happened to Isaac here. The four of them, they are in this uh, very paragraph, or they are in this very passage that we have read. He said, now it came, to, it came about when Isaac was old and his eyes were very dim to see that he called his son, his older son, Esau, and said to him, my son, and he answered to him, here I am, praise God. He's getting old, he's getting the sign that he's going to die, something's going to happen to him. He's, maybe he might have been dreaming and see some kind of dream that he never passed, I mean, never think of what, I mean, he's thinking of what is going to happen to him in that very period. Hallelujah. As he was thinking, what is when they break, he will give glory to God and say, Oh God, I thank you today because I've seen able to see this day. That is why we are ourselves, we need to thank God every day when we wake up from sleep. There are many people that slept, they never wake up, they may never see, they never see the next day. But thank God for his grace that God always wakes us up when it is time. My brother, my sister, it is not the alarm that is beside you. It is not because you have the power to do it. It's just because of the grace of God. 
Verse two, verse two. And, and Isaac said, behold, behold now I am old and I do not know the day of my death. He explained to Esau, Esau was his first son, though they were twins, but one came out first. And the man Isaac took that one as the first. We are going to see some of the miraculous work and the prophecy or what God has said concerning Jacob too. We are going to say, we are going to see it in this very passage. Now he called his son and said, come. What, the, what I'm seeing now, what I'm perceiving, what is going on around me now, I want you to obey me and hear my voice. Come to me and do what I ask you to do. Hallelujah. Now verse 3. He said, now then, please take your, your gear, your quiver, and your, your, your bow, and go out to the field and hot game for me. Um, Esau was a hunter. He said, okay, you always go out and bring uh, fresh meat, bush meat. We call it bush meat in my place. So go out now and go and bring such thing. It can be antelope, it can be glass cut, grass cutter, it can be anything at all. Go and bring it for me. You know the right meat that I like. Go and bring it for me because he's, he's thinking that his days are numbered. He's getting old and the eyes is not there. My brother, my sisters, eyes is very important in our life. Hallelujah. Without eyes, in any part of our body that is sick, without it, we cannot do anything. Most especially eyes. When eyes, your eyes is gone, you cannot do anything. You have to take very good care of your eyes and of your body, any part of you. He said, and prepare a sovereign dish for me, which as, sorry, such as I love, and bring it to me that I may eat, so that my soul may bless you before I die. Most especially when somebody wants to pass on, the family, if the man knew or anybody know, apart from the one, the people that died accidentally, or people that died, maybe they are not of age. They don't know, but the elderly one, anybody above 60 years, majority of them, they know they, when such a thing is going on, they prepare themselves. That is why even in our physical life today, they will tell you, oh, when you are above 60, you have to prepare your will. Praise God. Prepare your will and say, oh, this is what I have. This is so-so houses I have. It's for so-so person. It's for this. It's for that. Praise God. So Isaac called Esau. I say, do this for me because I don't know when I'm going to die. I want to refresh myself. I want to eat something nice. I want to enjoy like those that are having cancer. Praise God. We are not laughing at them, but it's just things that is happening in life. That the enemy, that, that the enemy have given them dates through the doctor prophesy to that very person and say, oh, in the next 24 hours, this sister or this brother will, will go. But that will not be your portion in Jesus' name. They will now call the family and say, okay, let us say goodbye to, to he or she. And God, God will not allow enemy to say goodbye to you in your premature age in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So he called him and said, go out and fetch that food, uh, meat for me. For you, to, for you to use to make food for me. If you look at it, my brother, my sister, why did Isaac not call Rebecca? Or why did Isaac not say, if you come back, give this thing to your mom to prepare this thing for me? I, uh, Esau have many professions. Maybe he was, also a, he was also a chef. Praise God. He know how to cook. Even if there is nothing like chef those days. But... The father also enjoy his food. Hallelujah. So we need to train our children in different ways. When this man was seen, when this, this man was seen live, when he was seen from uh, move, moving around, he was, he know what he was doing as a then. Esau was not also a lazy person. It was only Jacob 
that looked like a lazy person because he was always at home. Praise God. He was always sleeping at home. Let me use that language. But Esau was a hard man. He was a man of defeat, according to the Bible. Praise God. He said, verse 5. And Rebekah was listening while Isaac spoke to his son Esau. So when Esau went to the field to hurt, forgive, to bring home, Rebekah said to her son, Jacob, Behold, I heard your father speak to your brother Esau, saying, Bring me some game and prepare a sovereign dish for me that I may eat and bless thee in the presence of the Lord before my death. Somebody was ear dropping, he was just peeping. Is still happening in our life today, my brother, my sisters. You may be saying something secret. You don't know who is outside the window or who is outside the door listening to what you are saying. As I'm here now, I am the only one in this auditorium. I don't know who is outside the, outside the door listening to what I'm saying, but people may be hearing me through the, any of our gadgets right now. Praise God. That's exactly what happened to Esau and Isaac. Rebecca pick it up and say, okay, now it is time for the prophecy of Jacob to be fulfilled. Because right from the world go up to the, this very present time, let us go to the book of uh, the same Genesis chapter 20, 25, verse 22 and 23. Um, I can even read it from verse 19 to 23. He said, now, now these are the record of the uh, generation of Isaac. Abraham, sorry, let me take it from 21. From 21. And Isaac prayed to the Lord on, the, on behalf of his wife, Rebekah, because she was buried. And the Lord answered him, and Rebecca, his wife, conceived. But the children struggle right from, right from the beginning. There have been a war inside, I mean, between these two brothers. Hallelujah. He said, but the children struggle together within her. And she said, if it is so, why then I am, why then am I this way? So she went to inquire of the Lord. We went to seek the face of God as we are also seeking the face of God right now. We are praying. We want to enter a new month and this month is going to an end. We are praying that the problem that, that is in this month will not follow us to the next month. Or we will not die before the, the, the month of November and any of us will not die in Jesus' name. We will not cry over, you will not cry over your children or over your household in Jesus' name. Verse 23, and the Lord answered her, two nations are in your womb, and two people shall be separated from your body. And one, one people shall be stronger than the other, and the other shall serve the, sorry, and the other shall serve the younger one. That is where the problem is. Up to this time, Rebecca haven't seen any progress in the life of Jacob. He haven't seen the turnaround of what God promised for Jacob. But for the promises to be fulfilled, he was there at the appointed time. I pray this hour, may you be at the right time. May you be at the right place at the right time in Jesus' name. You will not miss your time of visitation in the mighty name of Jesus. So Rebecca did not miss that very time. Most especially, the women know exactly who their child is. At the time of birth, whether you are white, whether you are yellow, whether you are green, whether you are black, God speak, God directs that, I mean, speak to you, speak to women concerning that very child. And I may dream, 
or in verbal or in any form, or even in prophecy. Praise God. So Rebecca now instructed uh, Jacob and said, this is what I heard. You have to hear me now. This is your time. I pray for your time and my time to come quickly in Jesus' name. We have been touring enough. We have been struggling and we have struggled enough. Now, the month of November will be the, app, uh, uh, the appointed time for our life in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Verse 7. He said, bring me some game and prepare a, a sovereign. He was still relating it. A sovereign dish for me that I may eat and bless you in the presence of the Lord before I die. Verse 8. Now, therefore, he, this is where the instruction started. Now, therefore, my son, listen to me and listen good. Praise God. My brother, my sisters, tell yourself, I will tell your children, listen to me and listen good. Hear the word of the living God. That's exactly what Rebecca is trying to talk, tell uh, uh, Jacob here. He said, now, therefore, my son, listen to me as I command you. Go now to the to the flocks to the flock and bring me two choice cans from from there that I may prepare I may prepare them as a sovereign as a sovereign dish for your father such as he likes such as he loves such as he demanded praise God so. Rebecca wants to manipulate uh, Jacob this time around. But it is not just ordinarily. For prophecy to be fulfilled, something had to happen. Praise God. For you, for you to be uplifted, for you to get your promotion, somebody in your front, the job in your front had to be vacant. Praise God. So Rebecca told Isaac, I'm uh, sorry, told uh, Jacob, I said, this is what is happening. You go there down and do what is right for me. Okay. Verse 10. Then shall your, sorry, then shall you bring it to your father that he may eat so that he may bless you before, before, she, he, I mean, before his death. Verse 11. And Jacob answered and said, to his, to his uh, mother, Rebecca. Behold, he saw my brother is a hairy man. And I am a smooth man. Praise God. There's a kind of difference between the two of them. He said, no, if I do this, it is not going to go for me. Esau has some kind of uh, description. We are both different. If you look at some part of the world today, if you look at some part of the world, people from some part of the world, and also, I mean, the two sides, if you look at it, this kind of a thing is happening today. You can easily differentiate where these two people came from or who these people is. We are not going into history right now. We are going to, we are only just going to, I mean, I'm only telling you what is happening in our home, how the house of wickedness is. Praise God. So he told the mother, I said, this one, what you are telling me to do now, do you know that sometimes we lure our children to commit sin? Praise God. We lure, we told our children, we formulate everything, we arrange how it will be for them. Sometimes they are not part of it. It's like somebody that is owing some debt, either a man or a woman. When it is time for the, for the, for the, for the man that owns the money or that lends the money to the person, by the time he, either he wants to make a, a phone call or he comes to the house, they will tell the junior one or the children and say, oh, tell the man, tell uh, something that I am not at home, either through phone call or through his presence. Hallelujah. But this little girl, because he doesn't know, he or she doesn't know how to lie. The boy or the girl, they don't know how to lie. When the man knock at the door, where is your mom? Say, my mom said she's not at home. Okay, where is she? It's upstairs. 
Do you understand? Or a phone call we ring. Sometimes we lure our children, we train them up how to lie, how to do things wrong. Praise God. So a phone call will come. Already the man or the woman have already told the child, this is what you are going to say. Because of the spirit of the Lord that, that is still in that very child, he doesn't know how to lie. He will say, oh, my mom is not at home. Where did he, where did he went to? Is up, is, she's upstairs sleeping. Praise God. So Rebecca Leo, uh, uh, Jacob trained him how to lie. Praise God. So Jacob now said, if I should do this, it is not going to be well with him. The, the father is going to cut him. Why did he not tell him, oh, because look at my throat. Um, we are not having the same voice. Praise God. But Rebecca now said, sorry, uh, Jacob now uh, sees speaking in verse 12, say, perhaps my father will feel me, then I shall be I, I shall be as a deceiver in his sight. And he, really, he was a deceiver. And I shall bring up upon myself a curse and not a blessing. Praise God. So the mother said, look at it, what he said in verse 13. He said, but, let, but his mother said to him, your curse be upon me. That's what he said, because he want everything. He want the microwave things to happen. Okay, he said, may you come be upon him, my son. Only obey my voice and go get them for me. Hallelujah. He's very desperate. Everything. It may not be possible that this is where God wants uh, Jacob to receive his blessing. Or whatever God has spoken concerning him in that chapter 25 for him to come to pass. But because Rebecca was so desperate, he was so anxious, he wanted to get everything and out of hatred too. I can say it is out of hatred for, for Esau. Praise God. So verse um, 14, he said, so he went and got them and brought them to his mother. And his mother made sovereign food such as his father loved. May we not eat may anything that we love. May God not, may the enemy not use it to kill us in Jesus' name. Because many people that love anything, that eat anything they loved, some of them are under the ground today. Praise God. Like those that go to the club. You can see some of them, through their drink, they poison them. Through night, night outing, they poison them. May our case not be like that in Jesus' name. Verse 15. It said, then Rebecca took the, then Rebecca took the best garment of Esau, her elder son, which were with her in the house, and put them on Jacob, her younger son. They want to manipulate. He has planned everything. Praise God. He has been thinking or waiting for such a time. Because in those days, when somebody wants to die, as I said before, they always bless their first son. Or any of the child that is a bit closer to them, they always bless that child. Hallelujah. So verse 16, he said, and she put on the skin of the of the keys on his hand and on the smooth of on the small part of the neck hallelujah thank you jesus she also gave the several food and the and the bread which she had made to her son jacob go on go and submit it this is what he want just take it there Hallelujah. Then, the, then he came to his father and said, my father. And he said, here I am. Who are you, my son? 
He had, no, he had two sons because somebody want to use his eyesight to manipulate him. I have lived with, I'm not laughing against the person. I have lived with a, a blind person before. They are very sensitive in a way, and also they are very emotional. Praise God. There was something that happened today. I mean, before, sorry, not today. There was something that happened before. When that something happened to this very person, the, his, his own uh, uh, nephew was trying to come into the house, see, knowing that that woman cannot see. Praise God. But he sneaked out in a way. But physically, the person knew that there was somebody around, around the house. So Jacob now said, yes, here I am. Or Isaac now said, here I am. When the food came, a train had been dressed. Menu had been set up. What is the recipe? Hallelujah. Verse 19. And Jacob said to his father, I am Esau, your, your firstborn. I have done as you told me. Get up, please. Sit and eat of my game, that you may bless me. The whole thing has started. He said, I am your son, whereas he's not. Where is the voice? The master was still very sensitive enough to know that the voice of Jacob is never the same like Esau. Praise God. And Isaac said to, to his son, here he sits. Okay, sorry, how is it, he said, because the Lord, I take that verse again, please, verse 20. He said, and as he said to his son, how is it that you have it so quickly, my son? And he said, because the Lord, your God, caused it to happen to me. Microwave, he just brought the fruit from the freezer and warm it up. It's never the same, the food you did like that, it's never the same like the one you cook. Right now, the one you cook is never the same. But he, he still remember when the, his soul sight was with him. It's never easy like that. You cannot just kill some, uh, an animal like that and bring it home. Hallelujah. So he now said, he, he also lied dead, used use the name of the Lord to lie. I said, because the Lord has assisted him, caused him to have it. Okay, it's on, uh, Jacob, Isaac now said, okay, uh, verse 23. He said, and he did, and he did not recognize him because his hand were hairy, like his, his brother, Esau's, Esau's hand. So he blessed him. Hallelujah. And he said, are you really my son, Esau? Because the man was still feeling some kind of emotional something. I don't think this is really the man. I don't think this is my son. I don't think this is the first son. They are both the son, but he want to bless the very first one. Praise God. So he was still thinking. Say, I don't think. Now the man said, so he said, bring it to me and I will eat and drink. I will eat my son game. I will eat my son game that I may bless you. And he brought it to him and he eat. He also brought him wine and he drank. Have already drank it. The thing had been forfeit. I mean, the, the, what the woman was thinking. Maybe by then he will be even be looking, be hearing what is happening. That is Rebecca. He will also be listening. So then verse 27, and he came closer and kissed him. And when he smelled the smell of his garment, he blessed him and said, this is where the whole trouble is today. We shouldn't like any of our children more than the other one. You may have two, you may have three, you may have four. Because th all of them, they don't carry the same destiny, my brother, my sisters. 
they are not with the same destiny. They are not with the same vision because God has different vision for them. That is why he brought them to your life. So we should also have the same mind for them. Let us be free with them. Even if you are having that kind of thing, don't show it up. Don't let them know. This is exactly what made the, uh, the brothers of Joseph. If you read this very chapter further, you will see what happened to Joseph in Genesis chapter 7. I mean, sorry, 37. You will see what happened from there. That was that caused the great hatred that they had against him. So verse 27 now. He said, so he came closer to, he came closer and kissed him. And when he smelled the smell of the garment, he blessed him and said, see, the smell of my son is like the smell of a feed which the Lord has blessed. Hallelujah. Now, may God give you of the dew of heaven and of the fatness of the earth and an ab abundance of gray and new wine. We not suffer for anything. Whatever I put his hand, everything will just be blessed, blessing, blessing. Look at Israel today. Look at what is happening. When God later changed his name from Jacob to Israel, everything start multiplying. To go to the land of Israel today, whatever you put there, you will see it in a very beautiful way. And the fruit, when it grow, everybody will like it. Hallelujah. Verse 29 and the last. He said, may people serve you and nation bow down to you. Be master of your brothers. Who is his brother? Esau. Hallelujah. He said he should be a master. Blessing. God have already signed it. Amen. And may your mother's sons bow down to you. Cause be Cause be those who curse you and bless be those who bless you. And this is exactly what God told Abraham. So himself is now repeating it. Isaac is now repeating it. Isaac was not born. These are some of the things that you need to know. That, oh, why is this man now repeating the same thing again? It possibly, as uh, Abraham might have told him, that this is what the promises of God in his life. Hallelujah. Upon all these things, this man was in secret. We are going to, we are not going to treat everything today. Thank God tomorrow is Sunday. So we are going to finish it tomorrow in the church. If you are very close to us, remember to come to church and God will bless you. We are going, we are not ending like this. We are God just going to pray to destroy that spirit of household wickedness in our life. People are planning cool around you. You don't know what is happening. Even in your country or in your offices, people are planning around you. It's not only in the house that you can find that house of wickedness. It can be in your place of work. It can be even in the church of God. It do happen. But thank God for God that give us the power or give us the ability or that is destroying or removing all those kind of uh, wickedness out from our way. And God will bless us all in Jesus' name. Before we start, I just want us to, to start thanking God right now for hearing this word. Maybe ma majority of us, we haven't heard it like this before. You might have been reading this very passage. You didn't know that there's something like this that is affecting your life or that even yourself has done to somebody. We are going to pray and say, Lord, Father, I just thank you for you allowing me to hear this word today. Continue to thank God right now. My Lord, my God, Father, Lord Jesus, I just bless your holy Lord. I worship you, Father. I thank you, Holy Spirit, because you have given me the opportunity to hear this word, O Lord. Jesus, I thank you. Father, I bless your holy Lord. I thank you, O Lord, Father, for you are the Lord of Lords, you are the King of Kings. Jehovah El Shaddai, Jehovah Elohim. Father, I bless you, O Lord, at this very hour. My Lord, my God, I thank you, Holy Spirit, for everything that you have done and what you're ready to do. Jesus, I bless you. Father, I worship you, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, O Lord, for your word that you have brought to our notice today, O Lord, for you have been the one that has been speaking to us. 
Father Lord Jesus, take honor and take adoration in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Quickly, let us ask for the mercies of God upon our life. It's of his mercy that we are not consumed. That is what the book of Lamentation chapter 2, sorry, chapter 3, verse, 32, uh, verse 22 and 23 make us to understand. Let us ask for the mercies of God. The, the Lord have mercy upon me, upon everything that I'm going through. Father, it's of your mercy, O Lord, that I'm not be consumed. Father, have mercy. Have mercy. It's not only when you see my brother, my sisters, that you ask for the mercies of God. Have mercy right now. Ask God to have mercy upon you. Anyone, any, anything that is around you that is not pleasant to you, whatever difficulties that you are going through, ask God to have mercy upon you today in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, have mercy right now. Have mercy upon me, Father. Have mercy, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Have mercy, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Have mercy upon every soul under the sound of my voice right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Let us quickly start praying, asking for the pleading the blood of Jesus around our home, around us this hour. Continue to pray right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus around every soul right now. Wherever they are, anywhere they may be, O oh Lord. I plead your blood, O oh Lord, the blood of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord God, Holy Spirit, I incubate every soul into your blood right now in the mighty name of Jesus. So that whatever arrow the enemy may send will not be able to enter the, their body, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. We will not be able to damage them in the mighty name of Jesus. I soak every soul in the blood of Jesus. My brother, my sister, soak your family, soak your household in the blood of Jesus. Father, Lord God, Holy Spirit, we soak our body, O oh Lord, we soak our children in the blood of Jesus. Our grandchildren, we soak them in the blood, in the mighty name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We are quickly going to start praying now. Just, just pray and say, Lord Jesus, strengthen me today. Give me the power. Even if it is five minutes more, we are going to spend. Allow, I mean, see the face of God. Tell God to give you the strength to pray, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Lord God, Father, Lord, Holy Spirit. Reveal to me, O oh Lord, and give me the strength to pray this hour in the mighty name of Jesus. I need your strength, O oh Lord, to pray in the mighty name of Jesus. We need you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Omnipresent, omnipotent God, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we need you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Have your way, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We are now going to pray. I say, Lord, every conspiracy, there was some kind of conspiracy in the house of Esau. But Esau did not know. Thank God that after everything, it was revealed to him. Let us now continue to pray and say, Lord, every conspiracy around me, O oh Lord, Father, let them be exposed and be disgraced in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord God, every evil conspiracy around me today, Lord Jesus, let them be exposed and be disgraced now in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, every conspiracy, let them be exposed and be disgraced today in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm in the present, I'm in the potent God. Every conspiracy around me, from my father's house, from my mother's house, every conspiracy, oh Lord, among my siblings, every conspiracy in the in the in the nation I am that is affecting me, oh Lord, Father Lord Jesus, disgrace them right now in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, let them be disgraced in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We are also going to pray and say every secret covenant, because Esau and Rebecca, sorry, uh, Jacob and Rebecca, they enter a covenant. If you think about it, and if you read it very well, they enter a covenant. Let us now continue to pray and say, every secret, uh, every secret, every secret covenant and vow affecting my destiny. Father, let them be broken right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I break every evil covenant, oh Lord, every evil vow, every secret vow, I, I command it to be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Every secret covenant and vow that is affecting my destiny, let it be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Every secret covenant, oh Lord, that is affecting my destiny, I break it right now with the power in the blood of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Every secret covenant be broken right now in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, every secret covenant and vow that is affecting me, let it be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. My Father, my Father, Every secret covenant and vow affecting my destiny be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. I command it to be broken right now 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Every secret covenant, every secret covenant and vow that is affecting our children's de destiny, I command it to be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Every secret covenant, oh Lord, my Lord, my God, let it be broken right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every secret covenant and vow that is affecting our destiny, that is affecting our ministry, that is affecting my marriage, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let it be broken right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Let that covenant be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Every secret covenant and vow that is affecting my destiny, affecting my children, affecting the ministry of God that is under my care, Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit, I command it to be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Our next prayer, we are going to pray every ancestral secret covenant, sorry, every ancestral secret covenant affecting my progress be revealed and scatter in the mighty name of Jesus. Every ancestral secret covenant be revealed right now and scatter in the mighty name of Jesus. Every ancestral secret covenant that is affecting my progress, I command it to be, to be destroyed right now, be revealed and scatter in the mighty name of Jesus. Every ancestral secret covenant affecting my destiny be, uh, be displaced right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I command it to be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Every ancestral secret covenant affecting my progress be revealed and be scattered in the mighty name of Jesus. I command it to scatter in any form, in any way, wherever that secret covenant may be. I command it to be destroyed right now in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Our next prayer is evil secrets. Evil secret activities currently affecting my, my life be exposed and disgraced in the mighty name of Jesus. Evil secret activities currently affecting my, my destiny be exposed and be disgraced in the mighty name of Jesus. Every evil secret activities currently affecting my destiny, let it be exposed and be disgraced right now. Wherever that secret covenant may be, wherever th that activities may be, let them be exposed in the mighty name of Jesus. I command them to be exposed right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every secret covenant, oh Lord, every secret activity currently affecting my destiny, I command it to be exposed right now. Let them be exposed and be disgraced in the mighty name of Jesus. Every secret, every secret activities, let them be exposed and be disgraced right now. Every secret activities currently affecting our destiny, currently affecting global light apostolic ministries, currently affecting our children. Lord Jesus, I command it to be exposed and be disgraced right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every secret activities currently affecting my life, let it be exposed and be disgraced now in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We are also going to pray, say every secret I need to know to excel, spiritually or physically, be revealed now in the name of Jesus. Whatever secret that I need to know, we are praying against this secret that Rebecca have against, Rebecca and Jacob have, have against Esau. Let, we are praying against it right now because it's also happening in our life today. Continue to pray right now and say every secret I need to know to excel spiritually or physically be revealed in the mighty name of Jesus. Those things that I need to know, those things that is hidden, those things that is in secret that I did not know, let it be revealed right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Because when you know it, it's possible that, and possibly that, that is where the key of your success is. Immediately you know it, there will be a breakthrough in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord God, Holy Spirit, every secret, every secret I need to know to excel, O oh Lord, spiritually and physically, let it be revealed unto me right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it be revealed in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, any secret that I need to know today, O oh Lord, let everything be revealed to me right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Let them be revealed in the mighty name of Jesus. O many present, O many potent God, whatever secret that I need to know in my life, O oh Lord, Jesus, let them be revealed right now in the mighty name of Jesus. O many present, O many potent God, Father, reveal them to thee, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Our next prayer says, every power that want my effort to turn against me, I pull you down right now 
continue to pull, you, pull them down in the mighty name of Jesus. Because the effort of Esau work against him. No matter what it does, it, it, I mean, the blessing was never the same. And it's still never the same today in the mighty name of Jesus. Every power that wants my effort to turn against me, I pull it down right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every effort, oh Lord, that wants me to... Every, every, every power that wants my effort to work against me, I pull them down today, oh Lord, in the four corners of the whole world. I pray for everyone right now, every of your effort, every power that is that wants your effort to work against you, to turn against you, I pull it down right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I pull those powers down today in the mighty name of Jesus. Every power that wants my efforts to turn against me, oh Lord. Father, by the power in the blood of Jesus, by the authority that is in that blood, oh Lord, I pull them down right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Any power or personalities that want my effort to work against me, to turn against me, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pull them down right now in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We are also going to pray and say, oh Lord, lift evil stone away away from my from my body in the mighty name of jesus every evil stone every evil sickness every evil disease father let it be lifted let it be lifted away right now oh lord let them be lifted away out from my body right now jesus lift them away oh lord in the mighty name of jesus every evil stone that have been a hindrance unto me oh lord father lift them away right now in the mighty name of jesus Lift every evil stone out from our body today in the mighty name of Jesus. Every evil stone that want to cause hindrances on our way, oh Lord, in our body. Father, let them be lifted away right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, many present, how many potent God. Lift, them, lift us, lift every evil stone out from us right now in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We are going to pray right now concerning this month that is going down. Today is the 30th day in the month of October. My brother, my sister, in your life, you will never see it again. I will never see this day again. Continue to pray right now and say, Lord, any sickness, any problem that is in this day, oh Lord, as this that is in my life or my children's life or in my marriage or in my career, wherever that problem may be, oh Lord, as this month is going down, Father Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit, let all my problems go down in the mighty name of Jesus. Continue to pray right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Lord, my God, as this month is going down, oh Lord, let all my problems continue to go down right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, omnipresent, omnipotent God, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, as this month is going down, oh Lord, let every problem in my life, let them continue to go down right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, let them continue to go down. In the mighty name of Jesus, omnipresent, omnipotent God, as the problem in my life, as this month is going down, oh Lord, let those problems go down today. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We are also going to pray and say, Lord, give me the strength to serve you more. In the mighty name of Jesus. When you serve you God more, you receive more blessing. When you obey God more, more doors will be open for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, give me the power and the strength to serve you more, oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord God, give me the power to obey you more. In the mighty name of Jesus. The ability to do it right. Father, put it in me. As for that strength today, my brother, my sister, God is able to do everything for you, to do everything that you are asking for in the mighty name of Jesus. He only need your obedience. He only wants you to hear his voice, not the offering or anything that you are giving in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, give me the strength, O oh Lord, to do more in your house, to do more for your kingdom in the mighty name of Jesus. O oh Lord God, give me the strength. Give us the ability from Global Light Apostolic Ministry. Lord Jesus, give us the strength, O oh Lord, to do more for you in the mighty name of Jesus. In this very Commission, O oh Lord, Father, give us the strength to do more for you, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, we bless you, Father. We worship you, Holy Spirit, in the mighty name of Jesus. Once again, continue to soak yourself in the blood of Jesus. Oh Lord God, we soak ourselves in your blood right now, in the mighty name of Jesus. We swim in the pool of your blood. We, I soak everyone that have prayed with us to, today, even those that are going to pray this prayer later. Father Lord Jesus, I soak everyone in your blood right now, in the mighty name of Jesus. The reason why they are doing fasting, oh Lord, is to seek your face for their life and for everything around them. Lord Jesus, let them find you in the mighty name of Jesus. I soak them in your blood right now, in the mighty name of Jesus. Omnipresent, omnipotent God, take us through control right now, in the mighty name of Jesus. We bless you, Father. We worship you, Holy Spirit. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We are going to pray right now and ask for the unity. 
because there was no unity in the house of Isaac. Let us now continue to pray and say, Lord Jesus, let there be unity in my home, in the mighty name of Jesus. Concerning me and my siblings, concerning me and my children, concerning me and my wife, Father, concerning me and my husband. Continue to pray that prayer, my brother, my sister. Holy Spirit, Lord Jesus. Father, let there be unity in our home today, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, unite us together. We cannot do it without you, Lord. Father, unite us, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, unite this nation, O Lord. Unite our home. Father, unite Africa. Unite Asia, O Lord. Father, unite the whole world in the mighty name of Jesus. O Lord God, unite us together in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, unite us together in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, unite our home, O Lord. Body, boys, and the guests. Father, let us continue to speak one mind in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, unite us together, O Lord. Unite us, O Lord. Let us continue to speak one voice in the mighty name of Jesus. O Lord God, unite my home. Pray that prayer, my brother, my sister. Father, unite my home, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. O Lord God, Father, Lord, Holy Spirit, unite my home, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Unite churches. Let us also pray that prayer for, for, for churches right now, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, unite churches, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let the churches be united. You be united in the mighty name of Jesus. Unite us all in the mighty name of Jesus. We bless you, Father. We worship you, Holy Spirit. We give you thanks. We give you adoration. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We are also going to pray for the pray for the nation that you are right now and the nation that you came from, because that is your Jerusalem. Continue to pray right now and say, Lord Jesus, Father, Lord, Holy Spirit, unite the country that I came from. Unite this very nation, O Lord. Let there be peace in England, O Lord. Let there be peace in United Kingdom. Let there be peace in my country, O Lord. Let there be peace in the continent I came from, in Africa, O Lord. In Nigeria, Father, Lord, Holy Spirit. In Congo, Father, let there be peace, O Lord. In Asia, in India, let there be peace, O Lord. In Pakistan, Afghanistan, O Lord. Father, let there be peace. In Iraq, O Lord. Iran, Father, Lord, Holy Spirit. In China, Father, let there be peace in the whole world right now. In America, in Jamaica, O Lord, Father, Holy Spirit, let there be peace, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In their home, Father, let there be peace. In Europe, O Lord, Father, unite us all together in the mighty name of Jesus. We need you, O Lord. We need your power in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, have your way in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Let us now continue to return every arrow back to sender. That this little prayer that you have prayed, whatever plan the enemy have against you, continue to send it back right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I return back, oh Lord, whatever arrow that the enemy wants to send to each and every one of us, any, indivi any individual in this very uh, uh, program today, oh Lord, that the enemy wants to attack, Father, we cancel that attack right now in the name of Jesus. And I soak every soul in the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, we bless your holy Lord. We worship you, Father. We thank you, Holy Spirit, because you have done it. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Our brothers and sisters, I thank you for tuning, for tuning in, and God will richly bless you. Tomorrow, we are in the church. We won't be able to pray at home like this. If you have the means of tuning in, just like the way you came in today to hear us, just tune in the same way from 1.30. We will be on till about 3.30, and God will bless us all in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Remain blessed, and don't give up until you win. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye for now. <laughs>